Okay, I'm making this video to show people how to download, install, set up and play around with the Aeon rain meter, which is the DPS meter in Aeon. So let's get started. Just uh, Google Aeon rain meter and you'll come to this. Just go to the download section. Click there and it will start downloading for you. Very slow. If you get a warning like that, just ignore it. The uh, installer's fine, there's no um, virus or anything on it, so I just click next, 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 accept, wherever. And once that's done, just launch it. And if this doesn't come up for you, you should have a window like this, for example. So uh, if you get this, just type, well you don't have to actually put your name in here, but you can if you would like to, just put your name in there. You can choose what server you're on also, and uh, what faction. You can, depending on what stuff you have, you can turn these settings on and off, but these are the settings I have on at the moment. But I don't really use them anyway and uh, once you've done playing around with this you can also go here and um, you need to find your GameForge installer folder so as you can see mine is under C program x86 GameForge Aeon free to play and uh, here is my folder so it will pick that up just press OK and it will appear here so this will be reading the um, damage and stuff that's happening in game so you need this folder to be here and enable chat log as well once you've done that just save this and close this and you'll have this folder of this this uh, box up here now so what you do is you can run Aeon Once you've logged in, you should see that the uh, no chat log file thing has disappeared. So, um, what you can do now is, for example, if you go to any mob and you start doing damage, it should start to pick up your damage that you're doing on the mob. And, uh,
also record Godstone procs that you do, etc. So, for example, if I want to pause this, so let's say I'm at a siege and an apostle just died, I want to pause this. I can go into my skills and damage list by right clicking my name, and it will show me every attack I've done and the amount of damage I've done, plus an average, and if I've crit them or not. So you can go through all your skills here to see how much damage you're doing to a certain mob, etc, etc, and you can also save the session, so if you go here and you want to save it, for example, I will show you um, a siege for example, so if you look here, showing the damage for every mob that is there which will also show you DPS but because it's siege and people have AOEs and whatnot you should change the tab you can change the uh, target tab to whatever you want to so for example I want to see the damage that everyone has done just to the boss so for example let's see scene has 400,000 I have 468 rock has 467k so let's see if that changes as you can see, Mox damage has dropped because he's a gladiator, so he's been doing AoEs and they've been hitting the mobs. But those mobs don't count towards the actual DPS of the boss or the AP you get at the siege, so you're going to want to change this to the, the boss's name only to see how much damage you've done to the boss. Also, if you go into this, you can see your godstones. I unfortunately did not proc any this time. And uh, for example, if you have an AoE skill, you can click on the skill here and it will show you how many times it's hit the boss or anything else. Um, for example, uh, Aeon Rain Meter will only record your Godstone proc, so it will show your damage. So, for example, if uh, Uzi has procced uh, his 1% Godstone 10 times, it will not show in his damage because uh, Rain Meter will not record everyone's Godstone procs for their, their actual DPS so there will always be like a tab somewhere with Godstones here so that's everybody, everyone else's Godstone that's been recorded but your one will record your own Godstone so for example if you're at a siege and you see that you've done 5k more damage than the person underneath you that might only be because you've procced your Godstone and it doesn't show their, their one being proc, so that's not always a good sign of damage. So for example, if I proc 10k damage godstone, I will take away 10k from my total, so I know how much damage I've done without godstones. And as I said before, you can check all your damage and whatnot here to see what you've been doing. Um, there's this button here if you're in it if you're in an instance with a spirit master you can take this and it will combine the pet and the SM's DPS into one uh, damage block rather than having the SM and then pets separately like it's done here for example because there's more than one SM at the siege so you can go through here and look at all the settings so for example if I want to show everyone the damage they've done I just data copy all and then I can just paste it into chat and it will show that I've selected the gravity incarnate mob and everyone's damage is there for example if I want to copy the AP or whatever you can also do that here how much AP you've gotten um, or also if I just want to see a certain class you can click here to see what all the classes have done and then also you can go to here and um, compare class damage and skills. So I want to pick Cleric for example and it will compare how much damage Aerosnare has done for each person, how many times they've used it, etc. So this is another nice way of seeing how much damage people have done and how you can compare yourself to other, other players and whatnot. So yeah, I hope this has helped. If I can help with anything else, then just let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and take care.